Greetings everybody, this is Daz. I'm going to uh, do a little artwork in front of you today. As you can see on the screen, I've selected an image. It's a detail of a uh, painting I'm working on. So, you know, you can see me moving it around here. I'm going to show you the full image. There it is. It's kind of a Mongolian guy that's going to be caught in a fire and he's going to be part robot, part flesh, maybe human mixed with uh, biomechanics and nanotechnologies and such. So we're going to work on the arm today and I'm going to just open this up a little bit. Let me get a grasp of this. Okay, so let's zoom in. Take the magnifier. We're going to locate it here at the armpit, kind of just to bring it up. Then we'll go over to the arm here. And now we'll open this up. Uh, let's see what's going on here. There we go. And we'll grab it with the grabby tool. Position that in the middle there so you can see it. So I've created a line illustration. These are all with the pencil where I just did like a scrumble, uh, you know, wireframe contour drawing the way I always do. And now I've started to embellish it with color and give it three dimensionality. I'm going to create a gem right here so you can watch me do that. I go into brush and I'm selecting a certain diameter and then we're going to pick a color. It really doesn't matter what color I start with because I'm really crazy how I do this stuff. So let's select this color for today. Starting out. And you can see me airbrush just a little bit of color into this area. So now we can distinctively have our gem. You see my wire frame behind it. And there's kind of muscles and weirdness and uh, biomechanical stuff going on here. So there's kind of the rough area. Now we're going to enhance that with a little bit of a darker color. So you kind of just go to your spectrum here. You select stuff. You know, we're going to look for a brown, which is going to be down here. And you get some kind of like a copperish color. And I'm going to take and brush this in. Now you can control your airbrush up here where it says opacity. So that's how I get this transparent look because when you're using a conventional airbrush you control the air and the pressure and the paint with your fingers. So you got to do all this kind of electronically so you come up here you change a little bit of the opacity and then it shows up a little more and you can kind of give it a gentle build up like that. Now if I wanted it to feather into the green I'm going to take this and lower my opacity. See I get like a softer wispier look. And let's say I want to just enhance a little bit. This is a little flat here so we'll build it out with the, the darker color at the moment. Kind of shaping this gem now. And I'm going to enhance it with an even darker color. So I'm going to go down into this really deep brown, bronze. And I'm going to change the diameter of my uh, brush. So it's almost pencil-like and make kind of a hard line. See that hard line in there now? And kind of a hard line here because we're starting to fit this into like a pocket, let's say of gadgetry and stuff it's oh you know it's got to fit into the arm itself so we do that then I want to bring out some of the stuff in the foreground so I'm going to go to lighter color I'm going to take a little orange here just for fun I'm going to change the diameter of my brush so I want a little more and I'm going to even go bigger I go bigger see I'm comparing this circle that you see here with the area I'm going to work in so if it's bigger than that area, obviously, you reduce the size and you put a little color in there. Okay. Looking sweet. 
Now I want to enhance some highlights in my jewel. I kind of go back and forward playing with lights and darks and uh, you know there's no rhyme or reason I've done my artwork so long my way that I kind of have my own uh, methodology good bad or indifferent but I just kind of uh, play with things see how they look you know I might want to facet this up a little bit so if I did I would go back in and maybe like a dark purple or something like that and one of these nice blues is pretty good grab one of these reduce this uh, size of the brush down again and let's say I wanted like a I don't know a squarish shape in here maybe each sided let's say we go like that we're coming down here maybe even stranger facilitated so there we go so it's like almost a coffin shape in the middle uh, six sides and then I want to bring that out so I'm gonna look for some really light green you know like maybe this kind of a color so we'll go down here and we'll find some green and we'll go like this and we'll go okay and bingo and bomb boomy and I'm gonna go with that uh, little wider brush and we'll put a little bit of that gem color down in this socket here. So I'm seeing too much brown, it's just uh, bugging me. And now you see it's kind of harsh. So say you want to back up, you just go up to File, I mean up to uh, Edit, and step backward. So that's what we're doing, we're stepping back a little bit. Taking that green out. Why do we do that? Because it's a little too harsh. So we need to change the opacity. Let's take that down a little bit. And then we'll wisp it in there. And it doesn't have as much of a contrast look to it. Because it was a little harsh for my liking. So now we got this gem, we got this shape in the middle. So let's go even lighter in the center. We're going to bring this up. We're going to select like a yellow. Uh, maybe even lighter yellow. We'll play with this little slider. We're up in here now. We like that. We look at these colors here. You know, it's telling us what's in there. And a little bit of blue, mostly yellow. So let's just take the blue out of there. And we're liking that. And then we're going to come in here and just drop a little yellow in there. See that? It's got kind of a little chunky feel to it. And then we might be want to run a wire, let's say, to this thing. So I'm going to take a darker color, like a red. I'll make my circle a little more compact. I'm going to take a wire from nowhere and just run that wire right into this. So you can't see that. But that was a test. So we go up here and we increase our opacity because we're thinking, yeah, that wire's not going to look too bad. So let's go back and do it again, harsher. You see that? Now, if I want this wire to look like it's going into a hole, I need to create some type of a darker color. There we go. We're going to go to pencil now. So on the brush side, um, right here, we'll take it to pencil. And then we're going to go down in the size of our diameter. And we're going to tighten it up there, see? So you can kind of do like this. Just kind of showing you how I do this in the computer, you know? It all fits into my ambiguous structures here. So there's like a larger opening here. Now I think I want to do something up here. So I'm going to make me a reference to recall this. There we go. And now I want to uh, highlight the white 
around that wire so let's go steal some white steel steel we're gonna take and put a little bit of a highlight right above there like that see so you can see the entry point I might highlight some of this gem now and I might f pretend there's some ridges in here so we'll find those we'll enhance that kind of can make a shape here some electrical stuff going on so we'll kind of go into here maybe something over here maybe something here then you can just continually play around you know feel free to experiment like uh, a little drop shadow kind of along that exotic thing that's happening maybe bring another drop shadow into here and cut that off kind of darker to light and I've got the little opening there uh, this can be some kind of diode or whatever the hell is happening in there and we just kind of mess around with this now remember we're in pencil right now so we're creating a very harsh line and that's okay with me because I'll go back in and tweak it but there's a little bit you can see how we've added something into this arm another little gem right so let's take let's grab a little more yellow for the moment go back into our brush function uh, right here and we're just gonna put some highlights in this mechanical thing coming out of the arm right now and now you can see how I'm slowly developing my imaginary tools and wires and stuff that happen so that's our lesson for today thanks for tuning in it's been a while since I actually did any kind of a lesson but I hope you enjoy it